The finest air defense system in the world is Russia's S-400 Triumph, also known as SA-21 in the NATO alliance. It is claimed that this missile complex can shoot down any adversary, including fighters, drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. The Russian missile complex reportedly includes a radar system that can detect the greatest stealth jets in the world, has a maximum range of up to 400 kilometers and a maximum height of 50 kilometers. The S-400 greatest strength lies in its capacity to simultaneously lock down 300 targets and eliminate 36 of them. But is the S-400 truly invincible as the Russian claimed? Western military specialists have verified that the S-400 is not indestructible but it is still a functional air defense system through tests and a small number of real battle reports. The S-400 air defense complex development was started in the 1980s. It wasn't made public until 1993. Budget restrictions resulted in the complex's structural similarities to S-300 predecessor being reduced to 70%. The S-400 contemporary radar system, enhanced control software, and most cutting-edge missiles make up the bulk of the difference. The S-400 complex resistance to high-tech assaults is another notable quality. Nebo-M radar on the S-400 can quickly switch frequencies to prevent jamming and enhance its capacity to follow swiftly moving targets thanks to electronic countermeasures. Nebo-M is not only excellent in electronic warfare, but the Russian Defense Ministry also declared that it can take on even the most advanced stealth jets, like the US F-35. In essence, high-frequency C, X, and K radars, which are capable of producing precise images for cruise missiles to identify targets, are what stealth fighters are designed to deal with. They don't use low-frequency radars like L and S, because they can't offer precise information for air defense systems to latch onto the target. Nebo-M has three radar arrays operating simultaneously at various frequencies to address this issue. Detecting the existence of stealth fighters is the primary function of two of these low-frequency radars, Nebo-SVU in the VHF band and Protivnik-G in the L band. They cannot give precise cruise missile positions and photos, but the Nebo-M can successfully track cruise missiles when coupled to the X-frequency gamma S1 radar. The Nebo-M can effectively track stealth aircraft, even the target key. What will happen when the S-400 and the F-35 engage in combat? Russia claimed that the Nebo-low frequency M radars can identify the F-117 Nighthawk stealth jet at a distance of 350 kilometers under normal circumstances and at a distance of 72 kilometers if jammed in a paper that was published in 2014. The Night Falcon can be easily detected because the anti-reflection radar cross-section of the F-117 is unusually large double that of the F-35 and 30 times that of the F-22. Military specialists claim that if F-117 is used as the reference frame, the S-400 may be able to lock the target on the F-35, but only if the fighter is 32 kilometers distant from the missile complex. Because of the radar-killing stealth missile technology, which relies on the idea of radar frequency monitoring, if the S-400 can't hit its target at a distance beyond this, the F-35 will win virtually entirely. Even when the air defense system disables the broadcast radars, the missile mounted on the F-35 has an average range of 96 kilometers, meaning it can locate and take out the S-400 from a safe distance. The S-400 is most effective when used in conjunction with the Integrated Air Defense Network, therefore in practice there won't be a one-on-one -on -one combat. Because of the Russian complex's assistance from aerial reconnaissance and warning aircraft as well as other air defense systems operating in the same network, the F-35 will have challenges in this situation. And the final thing, can S-400 be defeated? Although the S-400 is a good air defense system, it nevertheless has the same fundamental flaw as all other mobile air defense systems, a finite supply of ammunition. A Russian S-400 unit typically includes eight launchers, each of which is outfitted with four different types of missiles. It can only intercept up to 32 targets before running out of ammunition, despite contemporary technology. 
So, the simplest approach to take out an S-400 complex is to launch more missiles than the defense system is capable of stopping. Another strategy that can be employed is to launch a mass suicide drone assault that just costs a few thousand dollars. Current air defense systems cannot intercept a missile with a minimum speed of Mach 5 due to the rapid development of hypersonic weaponry, and the S-400 is no exception rate. 